Ah, finally. Head on down to Zed's, or whatever this shitty billboard is supposed to be. Ah, six hours of hard work for this. Ooh-wee. Ash, Bob, Spots. Not a video I thought I'd be making, but hey, how about that? I haven't actually sat down and recorded one of these educational videos in quite a while. So here we are, suggested by a near and dear viewer of mine. Let's get this can open and cover some spots. Eight maps, eight different spots for the big Omnic Butler. Let's head on down to where I discovered my first ever Bob spot in Nepal. More specifically, Nepal Village, where on the high ground of the point, you're able to set up this amazing Bob spot that covers almost the entirety of this point area. Simply stand up against the wall here and deploy your Bob against the little nipple of the corner, aiming in line with this wall. Let's take, as the, as the kids would call, a bird's eye view of this puppy here and see Bobby can see everything. Over here, over here, 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 and even a little bit over there. Obviously, it'll be better for you to use this on the side that the enemies are coming from, so remember to replicate this on the other side if that is the case. This is an interesting one. A very different styled bob spot here on Shambhali Monastery. Whilst situational, I'll admit, as defender, you can actually flank round to this spot and as they push through, coach gun over the top of them and place this bob right on this corner perch. And since it is on this corner perch, bob can see round both corners, making it a very viable, aggressive and disrupting butler to deal with. A lot of you may know me from the various Torbjorn spot videos I used to make, where I used to find places where you can place Torbjorn's turret. And if you do know me from those videos, you might recognize this spot here. On Midtown, once point A has been lost and they begin to push through the opening door, rotate around to the back and down to the side, your old spawn exit. From here, you can use your coach gun to get enough height and use Bob mid-air to land him on this little perch in the corner. Bob's gonna be a peek in Tom and peep over that wall, shooting through the tree and just look at the coverage of this one. Very, very lovely jubbly. This spot on Junkertown is actually very similar to the Shambhali Monastery spot I just showed. If you're able to push up enough for it, you can get a Bob to stand up here by lining your placement up with this pole that sticks out, making it pretty foolproof to replicate, I suppose, if you follow that guideline. And again, as it sits on this corner, the cover that this one provides is very spread across this first segment of point B. I can pretty safely bet, okay, that you have never thought of using Bob this way. I call this the old up and over uh, Tony Hawk Skater Pro off the half pipe maneuver, and you'll soon see why. Once you've got your Bob, if you're still in control of point A of Eichenwalder, stand patiently on the wall of these stairs. You're gonna be aiming to throw your Bob in the little crevice in between these buildings up here. So when you're ready and the timing is right, Coach gun up there and release your bob in between the two buildings. And watch as that skater boy scoots on down and assaults the back line. Now this one obviously has a very large surprise factor to it and is hands down the most stylish bob you could ever pull off. So it's definitely worth practicing how to do. One thing I will say about this one, you need to be cautious not to aim it too far to the left or you're gonna get quite the earfall from your teammates as your bob keeps traveling south to Circuit Royale. Another point A defending spot for Bob, this time on Dorado where you can actually decorate the water fountain with a robotic butler. How about that? The timing of this one is finicky, so I definitely recommend watching the example as many times as you need to and practicing it for yourself 
in a custom game. It doesn't sound possible. But on Hollywood, if you angle it just right, you're actually able to throw your bob on the moon. No, not that moon, you eight-brained twat. On the third point of Hollywood, after rotating up to the high ground, use your coach gun to propel yourself upwards and land your bobby up on the moon prop in the corner. Bob is now the watcher. He sees all. You cannot hide from this man. And finally, it loops back round to that intro clip. We head on over to Route 66. This is a spot for an early fight on the second point. As your team regroups, set yourself up on this high ground. You want to wedge yourself into this corner. Really wedge yourself in there so you can't tuck in any further. Now, follow these specific instructions here. Let go of any movement abilities, first of all. Aim your crosshair at this plus sign. You see where the two grains meet on this wood? And then without looking away, jump just once and it'll move you outwards just a little bit because you were so wedged in that corner. Then jump when you release your bobby and this guy will land up on the top of the billboard which is a very common piece of geometry people use to avoid bobs on this point. So this will evade that issue and gives you a bob with a pretty nice coverage. That's all the bob spots I've got for you today and I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll record more of these educational style videos in the future. We'll see. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I want you to really push yourself today and achieve something great. I'll see you in the next one.